Today I have Chris Huber from Rizoro Strategic Metals. How are you today, Chris? Very well, thank you, Tracy. And I'm pleased to be here. This morning on Investor Talk, you were telling everybody you can get your rare earths for free. How about we start there? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, we have an extremely large and high-grade titanium project associated with a very large and high-grade rare earths project. So our business model is to mine and process titanium dioxide at a profit and uh, our rare earths become a credit. So effectively, our cost of production for rare earths would be zero. Okay, so you heard that, everybody. Their cost for rare earths would be zero, but also your grade is extraordinary. And you were talking about some of the geological benefits you have about being in Brazil. How about you hit us with some of the highlights from your geology, please? Yeah, well, the, the deposit is very special. It's a 40 meter thick layer, which extends for 71 kilometers at surface or near surface, highly oxidized. So it's friable and free digging. But the grades, you know, we have 1.4 billion tons in measured indicated category, 1.9 in measured indicated and inferred. But the grades are special. We've got 12% titanium dioxide, which compares to a, a typical beach sand project at 1%. Um, and we have about uh, four, just over 4,000 ppm total rare earth oxides, um, which compares with the standalone uh, clay style rare earths projects in Brazil, which typically are around 2,500 ppm. So we've got a high grade zone, 130 million tonnes at 24% titanium dioxide and um, about 9,000, just over 9,000 ppm total rare earth oxides. So we, we effectively have, if it was a standalone rare earths project, we would have three times the tonnage and three times the grade of a typical project. So it's a very special project in a very interesting location uh, for development. You were specifically commenting about how with titanium, the Chinese don't control the market price. Would you like to talk a little bit about the titanium market? Yeah, well, the bulk of the titanium market is for pigment. So anything white that's produced has titanium dioxide. Um, so paints, plastics, fillers, um, anything that's white. And this is a $22 billion a year business. So it's, it's akin to a base metals sort of um, size business. And... Um, there are many players in North America, Europe, Southeast Asia. China only makes up a small part of the market. So um, the interesting thing is that there's many potential off-takers for titanium dioxide, and um, no one player has a dominant position, so they can't manipulate the price of the, the market. Uh, in fact, the Chinese banned exports of titanium dioxide after um, being accused of dumping it on the market. So, um, and in terms of rare earth elements, um, because rare earths are a credit for our titanium, um, it, we don't care where the price is set. Um, so the price has been run down deliberately to discourage new entrants, but um, where uh, rare earths is a credit, so we have a zero cost of production. Um, so we, it's incremental profit for us. And of course, I met you at the CMI summit. Uh, many of our audience members were talking and touting about the advantages of being located in Brazil. You yes. want to hit some of the highlights of being involved in being a Brazil project? Well, firstly, back in 2018, the government changed um, the mining agency to a full department and revamped the mining laws. So you can go through from expiration to development of a project in 24 months in in the right state in Brazil. And we're in Minas Gerais, um, which is the mining state. We're next to the largest niobium mine in the world, which produces about 90% of the, the world's niobium. We've got the Lithium Valley to the north of us. We've got Belo Horizonte, the capital city, 5 million people just to the south of us. But the location is great because we have a railway line which goes to um, any number of uh, five different uh, deep water bulk commodities ports. 
Um, we have power lines uh, from a large hydroelectric uh, project called Tres Marias just to the north. So we have low carbon, low cost power. We have highways going through the project. We're about three hours drive north of Belo Horizonte. Um, and Belo Horizonte is the mining center for Brazil. It's got all the mining services companies. So we have very strong community support for the project because the communities see the wealth that's been generated at Arasha, the Niobium mine, and they want a piece of that. Um, so in an area of low population, high unemployment, um, the push in Brazil is employment. People want jobs. That, so you don't see the traditional community opposition to mining. So in addition to the government support and, of course, your location and the geological benefits you've discussed, you also have a technology advantage that provides environmental benefits. Do you want to touch on that? Well, um, the project should be very environmentally friendly. We've got low carbon power in terms of mining, no drilling, no blasting. We're just mining the layer like a coal operation where we mine and backfill uh, and rehabilitate as we go. But the technology you're referring to is the um, sulfuric acid bake process where we take 100% of the ore, uh, heat it and leach it using sulfuric acid and then selectively precipitate out each of the elements. Um, the big advantage there is that we don't have materials handling issues associated with uh, putting clay into a slurry and tailings dam and tailings dam. So um, what we're hoping and we're, we're going through the metallurgical test work process and potentially um, very soon pilot test work is a process where we take the whole package of ore and leach it and make products out of everything. So there's no, it's a no waste process. Um, this is a huge advantage because um, if we can avoid a tailings dam and we can avoid filtering and and uh, settling clay um, tailings, then that's a tremendous advantage. And it also produces a number of byproducts. So um, our revenue stream comes from a number of different products. And of course, Rizoro has been achieving milestones regularly. I mean, in the last six weeks, you had three news releases, including the announcement about your 43-101. Yes. Tell us more about your report, please. That's obviously big news. Well, we've drilled, um, stop drilling. We don't need to do any more resource drilling. We've done infill drilling, and this was the upgrade to the 43-101 in the central block of our project. As I said, the the Capacetchi formation extends over 71 kilometres. So we've drilled about 7% of the um, the mapped area of the Capacetchi and uh, we've achieved 1.9 billion tonnes on 7% of the known ore body. Um, and the, the important things are the high grade, the global grade, 12% titanium dioxide and over 4,000 ppm total rare earth oxides, but also... The, there's a supergene enrichment zone. We think it's a supergene, but an enriched zone at the top, which is severely oxidized at surface. And this is 130 million tons at 24% titanium dioxide and about 9,000 ppm total rare earth oxide. So the global resource is immense, and we've only drilled about 7% of the mapped area. Um, but the grades are very special as well. So not only we have you know, quite often you have high grades in small deposits, but this is an, an immense deposit with high grades. In addition to the roadshow that you've currently been on and all of these milestone news, I again, I'd like everybody to go to your website to start doing your due diligence on Rosoro Riz Strategic Metals. Uh, what should shareholders be looking forward to in the next quarter? Well, um, we're going to announce more results from uh, metallurgical test work on a number of different programs we're doing at the moment. Uh, in the next months, we hope to announce our PEA once we've defined the, the flow sheet. Um, there'll be, we're doing a lot more investor awareness now because um, we're sitting at a, with a market cap of around $17 million today. Um, there's a big disconnect between the market cap and the intrinsic value of the project. As I said, the intrinsic value is immense. 
Um, so I think we, we're going to be putting out a lot more news just to create more investor uh, awareness for the pro project and the company. Well, Chris, thank you so much for joining us. You're joining us today from Quebec City. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. And home is where? Santiago de Chile. So um, it's a, a good base because I'm close to the project, close to the investors. So. Well, again, thank you so much for joining us today. And again, I urge everybody to go to the Rosero Strategic Metals website to find out more or send us an email and we'll introduce you to the company. Thank you, Chris. Okay. Thank you very much, Tracy.